Hey, welcome to Catching Dinner. I'm Stefan. Today, you and I are gonna go on a little adventure on the Gulf of Mexico. We're around the Crystal River area. We're gonna take the jet ski out. The conditions are perfect. Very low wind. The water is pretty clear right now. So we're gonna go spear fishing for a fish that most people would never think to target. Most people would take the cast net, catch a bunch, use it for bait. And it's great at that because that fish it's phenomenal eating. That's why it's such good bait, I tell you. Also, Florida at some point did a little PR stunt to change the name of this fish to Lisa, which is really striped mullet. That's the fish we're going after in Spanish. And it didn't work, you know. They tried to basically put lipstick on this pig. I say pig because it's not the prettiest fish, but guess what? You cannot judge this book by its cover because it is phenomenal eating. And that's what I'm here to tell you. And hopefully if you stick with me to the end, you're gonna see that. I'm gonna go hopefully spear some, bring them home, and we're gonna put them on the pit boss smoker. And you're gonna see, it's gonna be a meal fit for a king. So hey, let's go diving. It's gonna be an awesome day. into this little island just mullet as the eye can see so hopefully I can sneak up on them and uh, catch a few beautiful area just islands like that everywhere
big day today on the water. Cut, caught up with a bunch of mullet and I caught up with my personal best sheep's head. It was an eight pounder. So, uh, you know, couldn't feel more blast. Let me show you how we're going to fillet these bad boys. And that's basically what we're doing is filleting them. For smoking, there's so many ways of doing it. A lot of people will do almost the whole fish. Personally, I like it boneless. So I do a fillet. Voila, just like that. Look at that beautiful meat. That easy. This is boneless and uh, ready to be put in the brine. And that's what we're gonna do next. But first I gotta finish this off. But yeah, this meat, I'm telling you, nobody would guess this is mullet. It's got such a nice look to it. And the meat is firm, but you have to treat it right. These fish were on ice right away. I broke their neck. The reason I did that in the water is to bleed them. There's two main arteries coming through. As soon as you snap the, snap the head back, you actually uh, bleed them out real quick. I mean, you can see it's just seconds and then nothing's coming out and they're bled out. That helps the quality of the meat. And then I ice them and here we are, you know, I'm gonna brine them next, but let me just finish with this and we'll see you in a bit. So now that I've cleaned the fish, got all the fillets off, I rinsed them and then I put them in a brine. Now, this whole recipe, is the KISS recipe. Doesn't get simpler than that. And I like that because it's very delicious, very few ingredients, and very so simple. And uh, that's what we're trying to do on this channel. We don't want to make it so complicated that people won't even attempt to try it. This is so easy, but I'm telling you, it's a winner. So here we go. For my brine, all I did is use a gallon of water, and to that I added a cup of kosher salt and a cup of brown sugar. I stirred it up well, put all the fillets that I, you know, rinsed in there for a couple hours. Now, you could let it sit longer, but it's going to get saltier. And then, you know, I don't like my fish to be too salty because then you can't really taste it. So personally, a couple hours, you know, is good enough. What I'm going to do next is dump all the fluids here. I'm going to rinse the fish. I'm going to pat them dry and lay them down on the sheet here. And I'm going to put that in the fridge for a good half hour. The whole goal to, to this is to basically dry the fish out a little bit so it absorbs the smoke better. So now we're ready for the next step. It's been 45 minutes. The fish looks dry enough. We patted it dry after rinsing it. Let it sit in the fridge. It looks good to me. So next step, here's the seasoning we're going to put on. This is one blend that works. I'm not going to use any other spices. And again, there's a thousand ways to do mullet. This is just what I found to be the easiest. I just douse it on top. And again, you know, you don't want to go crazy because you want to be able to taste the fish. So I just put a little layer of it, you know, just kind of sprinkle it without going nuts. Because I like to taste the fish personally, you know. Again, everybody's different. Some people like it real strong. I don't. Yeah, this fish looks beautiful. Color of it. That's it. About ready there. I have two trays like this. This is just one of the trays. <coughs> so, one more thing before I bring these to the smoker is you got to be careful when you fillet a fish. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of pin bones right along the edge here. So you definitely want to trim those out. It's right here along the top. You just got to make sure you carve those off because this recipe is boneless. So you don't want to have somebody expecting it to be boneless and, you know, swallow a bone and they won't be happy. So on to the smoker next. Hey, doesn't that look good? I mean, I'm hungry just looking at them. And you know what? You could just fry them up just like this and it'd be phenomenal. But let's smoke them. So we're gonna use a good old pit boss to get the job done. I'm using apple bland here, pellets. We're gonna keep this around 150 for about two and a half, three hours. Now, there's many, many ways of doing this. I don't like my fish to be too dry and overly smoky. If you use it for making a fish dip, go for it. You know, you might want, want it to taste stronger. 
but uh, the way I like it, I like it to be a little bit moist, smoked, but I can still taste the, taste the fish. So I'll show you when we're done. I kept the scales on the fish. Reason for that, it does help to keep the moisture because again, I don't want my fish to be overly dry. So that's just the way I like it. That's why I kept the scales. There we go. I have to do a second batch with the other fillets, but it was good. We wanted the smoke to be able to work the fish. So as you can see, we're about to run out of daylight. So I'm going to show you almost finished product. Hey, look at that. Looking nice. So the fish is almost there. There's plenty of smoke on it right now. So to finish it off, I'm just going to crank up the heat a little bit. I just did actually to 200 and uh, do that for another 40 minutes. And we're going to be in business in the mullet business that is. Can't wait to try it. So there you have it. Smoke mullet on the platter. And this batch turned out awesome. Kid you not. I just took it off the smoker, let it cool down a little bit, and then I had my younger sister swing by and try a piece and she stole the whole fillet. <laughs> and then what happened? This thing is absolutely incredible. It's really sweet. Um, it has a really nice smoky flavor to it, not overly salty. Mullet is my new favorite fish. I highly recommend it to you. It's smoky, that's for sure. Um, I love mullet for the fact that I've been seeing Stefan out there and it's, it's super plentiful fish. Right. When I go out on the kayaks, I see the dolphins chasing after them. So you know that they're out there. And to be sustainable as a fisherman and fisherwoman, um, it's great to have a fish that's like that. Yeah. You know that you're not depleting the resources and you know that you're getting a really great fish yeah. from it. I yeah. am a new mullet fan and yeah. it's, yeah, it's my new favorite fish. Well, there you have it. Highly recommend. I mean, hey, we ought to pay attention. Those dolphins are pretty smart. Yep. So if they're going for a mullet, maybe you ought to pay attention. Exactly. But that's where it ends for the sales pitch. I mean, can't say much more about it, how good it is. The meat is really, really moist. On the outside, you have that nice little smoky layer, but the inside turned out, you know, super. You know, I'll show you. If I just split it like that, look at that. That's not amazing. And now, my favorite way of eating mullet is actually cold. Let me see if you haven't zoomed in enough. I like it cold. I think you can taste it better. When it's hot, I don't think you can fully appreciate it. Just like a good steak, you know, like a roast beef. If you let it cool down and you eat it, and sometimes the following day, I'll eat some leftovers. And I think it's phenomenal. And if you think I'm crazy, definitely leave that in the comment below. Or if you agree with me, just give me some feedback. But this is the way I like it, you know. Cold is the way to go. So hey. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. We really do appreciate it, you taking the time and you know, watching your stuff and just coming along. So hope to see you again on our next adventure. There's a lot more coming. So hope to see you next time. Till then, we're out.